going to go over how to check PowerSchool for accuracy. This should be done prior to printing progress reports at midterm and report cards at the end of the trimester. The first thing you must do to ensure report card accuracy is to have your report cards and assignments set up as dictated by your grade level report card binder. You should create a category for each standard. The options you select here can minimize errors subsequent to this step. Be sure to check the Include and Final Grade box, as well as the Publish Scores box. I recommend that you publish assignments on the due date. This way, parents will not see every assignment for the entire trimester when they log in to view their child's gradebook. This minimizes the confusion surrounding missing assignments. Next, I'd like to show you the icons at the top of each assignment. Knowing what these mean and watching for them can help you to spot errors and fix them quickly. This exclamation point indicates that this assignment will not be published. If an assignment is not published, even if it's connected to a standard, it will not calculate as part of the standard. This hourglass indicates that the assignment is not yet due. By clicking on the assignment, I can edit some of these parameters. I'll click on the Publish tab to change this and make sure that I'm publishing the scores. I should always see an S icon at the top and another arrow icon. The S icon indicates that I have connected the assignment to a standard. Now that I've connected this assignment to a standard, there is an S icon. If I click on this Use Assignment Score to Calculate Standard Scores box, I will be using this assignment to calculate it into the final grade which is printed on the report card. If you have an assignment connected to the standard but do not select that box, it will not calculate as part of the final grade. Some questions have arisen about the color of the standard icon. If the standard icon is green, that indicates that every child has turned in the assignment. If it is gray, it indicates that one or more children are missing a score for that assignment. Now that we know a little bit more about the icons and what to look for, we can quickly scan assignments for problems. By looking across here, I can check to see that there is an S icon for every assignment, which indicates that the assignment is connected to a standard. This assignment does not have a standard connected to it. I can quickly fix that by clicking on the standard in the standard box. Now I'm going to look to make sure that every assignment is calculating as part of the standard grade. This assignment, while it is connected to a standard, is not being used to calculate on the report card because it did not click this box. Now that we know a little bit more about how the grades should be set up, we can check to see if we've done so correctly. To view and compare our standards grades to our category grades, we need to click on the Final Grades tab at the top of the page. First thing I'll want to do when I get to this screen is right-click on the category and select Percentage. Now I can view Percentages compared to Percentages. This side with the colored tabs are my categories. These are my standards. Some of you may prefer to view just one category at a time. To do this, you go to this side under Categories and select Filter Selected. This allows you to view one category. Unfortunately, we're not able to hide the other standards, so you'll have to compare the categories across the standards. One thing we've had a problem with is having over 100% calculation in our category and not in our standard. This is caused by offering extra credit. As you can see in my AR points, this assignment should only have up to 25, and I've indicated that this child has 40 points. Now, many of us like to do 25 words for spelling tests, and there's only 20 words counted. We can fix this problem by simply only giving the child up to 100% score on this. If we were to allow the child to have more than 100%, the category will calculate it more than 100%, but the standard will calculate it at only 100%, which will throw off your final grades here. If I go back and I only give that child up to 100% on each assignment, the standard will still calculate at 100%. This will ensure that these grades calculate more accurately. 
so if you decide to do extra credit points on spelling tests, never enter the score in as more than the total possible. For instance, if a child gets 23 words correct, you would just enter in 20 points total for that grade. Again, be sure to check these at the midterm and the end of the trimester to ensure that you are printing accurate grades for the report cards that we send to parents. If you find that you have a problem with the calculations in this screen, please watch the second video titled, Power School Troubleshooting Final Grades Calculation Errors.